my sheer star goddess so i'm back today to talk about dark energy dark matter okay so i've been reading through my comments because i often do read through my older comments on some of my older videos because uh, i get alerts so if it looks interesting i'm gonna read it i've been reading a lot of people arguing back and forth on dark energy and then the light and then you're supposed to use both and da 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 and I kind of don't like to interfere too much. I mean, I'll say something if someone asks me, but I don't really like to interfere too much because I think everyone is on a path and they have to learn and experience things in order to come to conclusions. So I can't just tell you this is the way. You have to actually have an experience to understand that, you know, the path that you're on is, you know, you know, leading you somewhere. Um, or on the right path that you feel comfortable on because a lot of people are still not comfortable with darkness dark energy the dark period and that's understandable but um, someone actually sent me a video of David Ick I think I'm pronouncing his last name right and I don't, I don't really watch him um, but they sent me a video and they said look he's talking about dark energy just like you and I think his video was like maybe uh, 2014 and he uses the exact same phrases I use the same words so you know it is an experience that and when you do experience it it's you know you can explain it to other people that haven't experienced it so um, the way he experienced it was the same way that I experienced it it's a like when everything else falls away there's only darkness darkness is the source it is the infinite source of all things even light and even when light is gone that darkness will always be there okay um, so a lot of people will draw their energy from darkness and their knowledge from this darkness because it's infinite okay light is limited because um, you know it can burn out there's only so far it can reach and such and, th and such and such like that but darkness is infinite um, I think he explains it like uh, it is the stillness and in everything that you can see and touch in the light is constantly moving and it's an illusion and we already know that because of science but the darkness is something that you can't you know dismiss as an illusion because it was always here and it created the illusion you know what I mean it's the creation of everything that you can imagine and see so if you haven't had an experience that took you to the complete darkness then you probably won't be able to a hundred percent comprehend it until you get there yourself now he was talking about uh, his use of DMT and I never used any DMT it's naturally in your brain especially when you dream uh, in high doses it's you know there when you dream but some people I guess just naturally have high doses of DMT and I, I guess I'm one of them because I've been seeing things and dreaming and astral traveling since I was a child so and it comes naturally to me it's not something that I had to work up to or do it's just natural I don't know what it is that I have you know so much DMT but I could see into other dimensions I could see other be types of beings and all that kind of stuff and it was just the norm to me like especially as a child it was normal to me you know and then as I grew older you know people were telling me oh that's not real this is your imagination but I could still basically see into other dimensions when I wanted to like I could turn it on and off uh, if you sit long enough and get into a trance anyway me I that DMT the DMT will kick in and I'll start seeing you know lights floating things um, you know certain things that aren't of this dimension I, I start to cross over and see into another dimension um, and I did a video like that on my other channel a long time ago probably 2013 talking about it you know and I believe it has a lot to do with um, I don't know it could be a combination of things you know it could be your zodiac sign it could be your bloodline it could be your blood type it could be your past life experiences and the knowledge that you brought here with you it could be all of those things combined or one of them or a combination of a few of them I don't know 
but I was able to experience the darkness in its fullness and the feeling that you have in that darkness. I, I was able to see beings um, from other dimensions and I was able to see that the darkness is the source of all things and energy um, and that the reason why it's so easy to manifest and create the things you want on the planet is because it's an illusion and you can manipulate an illusion okay um just like when you're dreaming and you're lucid dreaming and you have a nightmare or a dream and you all of a sudden you have all this willpower and this free will uh because your life is in danger and you change the outcome of your dream with your thought whatever you think starts to happen in the dream and it saves you okay you're your own savior that is the whole key when you hit a point where you're up against the wall and you have to save yourself in a certain situation and your will is stronger than that illusion then you're going to move space and time you're going to be able to change the outcome of your you know life or dream okay and I saw a video floating around on Facebook and I've said this many many times to my kids a long time ago that the the meaning of the song row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream it's manipulated in the same way a dream is so if you can change things in your dream with your thought quickly because we know time and dreams is very different than time on you know in reality so when you can change your thought and change your uh, life with manifesting and thought and will you can do that you know over and over again to get the life you desire okay it's easily manipulated if you know that darkness dark energy is the source and that this is just the illusion and you're not looking to the light for the answers because the answers are from the darkness all um these great minds of our time have talked about it and they draw knowledge from the the void the darkness the uh, abyss or whatever you want to call it the infinite the source they don't say you know that it's not something to get information from because that is the source of all information and I know a lot of people get confused because they see certain things and they see the Sun and they see light and they think the Sun is this is a, the Sun came from the darkness okay the star that is the sun came out of the darkness and it is a byproduct of darkness and it is also an illusion it is not a solid you know it's also an illusion it is vibrating and one day it's gonna burn out and turn to dust and be gone or a black hole or whatever it's gonna turn into a white a dwarf or something it's gonna be gone so it's not an infinite source and it never was and it never will be the darkness is the infinite source when I say the darkness, I'm not talking about anything good or evil. I'm talking about you look up in the sky and you see the darkness. Okay, the universe. Um, and if you explain darkness and, and the characteristics of darkness, and then if you go to the Christian Bible and they'll explain uh, God characteristics or the creator's characteristics, they will almost match, you know, op, you know omnipresent. It's in everything. It's inside you. It's outside of you. It has many names. Um, omnipresent, omni, omnipotent. Can do all things, good and bad. Yes, it's it's the source. And when you draw from that energy, there's no limits. There's no fear. There's no karma in that. There's nothing that you can't do when you draw from this darkness or this dark energy because it has no limits on it. Light has limit. Balance has limit. Okay? Um, scales have limits. You put too much on the scale, it's going to break. We don't need the scale. As long as you're, um, you know, pulling from an infinite source, why would you need to balance anything? You know, uh, if you know if you know that light is, is an illusion, it's not going to balance something that's... Uh, that's real so what's the what's the point of trying to balance the light and the dark there's only dark 
the only balance that you have is the illusion that you see and you have to keep that balance in your mind to manipulate the illusion do you understand you have to understand that the illusion is not real and that it can be manipulated that is the balance between the darkness and the light the light is the illusion that is not real the darkness is the infinite that is real so once you have that balance and you understand it then you can manipulate what's in the light with the darkness okay it's not the other way around it's not good or evil because that's that's free will that's just choice okay um in all types of beings with free will there's a choice okay just like there's good angels and bad angels good demons and bad demons you know um all is choice okay uh so you can't label certain things if you're not sure on them specifically you know what i mean So, like, that's why I don't really try to get involved in the comments about darkness and how you need both and go to the light and God and Jesus. That's why I stopped because when once you know, you no longer entertain things that aren't going to benefit you or your knowledge in the long run. You just let other people entertain themselves with that or you try to correct the situation to see if people are ready to go in that direction. And if they're not, you just kind of leave it alone, you know, because, you know, when you get into certain types of information, they're, sometimes they're beyond their time or um, outside of their time or, you know, people aren't ready to accept it. So you kind of don't really reveal too much. You kind of write stuff down in your notebook and like when you die, when you get old, you go look back at it. People will look back at it and say, this lady was, this lady was on it, you know? And a lot of the stuff that's in my notebook, I don't share with people because I'm sure some people will understand it and some people will agree. But a lot of the times people aren't ready because of fear, okay? Darkness is going into the unknown. And if you fear the unknown, if you don't know yourself totally, and if you don't if you're not knowledgeable about certain things, you're going to fear the unknown. You're gonna fear the darkness because you don't know enough to not fear. Do you understand? So it's kinda of like if you saw an uh, a being and it looked different and you freaked out because it looks different. You know, you're scared of it because you don't know what it can do, what it is. And so instantly you're on a vibration of fear. So instantly you're matched with another vibration of fear. And that's why a lot of people who say they try to meditate in darkness and start seeing faces and creatures and stuff, you're starting to see it under other di dimensions and realms, but you're getting afraid. Uh, we look just as hideous to those creatures as they look to us. And it doesn't mean they're good or evil, just like it doesn't mean we're good or evil, you know? So you have to kind of understand that. It's kind of like looking at somebody with a deformity and you're trying not to stare at whatever's wrong with them. Uh, so you kind of look away or you look up or you focus on another part of their body just to be polite. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like how we have to do when we're looking at someone who has something on their teeth and you're not going to say anything because <laughs> it's kind of like that. So if you're going to meditate in darkness, if you're going to manifest with darkness and you're going to get in the darkness and you start seeing stuff, you, it's working for you. You're starting to cross over. Okay. You're starting to be able to see into other realms now it's up to you to alleviate that fear and it's also up to you to be able to deal with it because if you're not afraid of something it's not going to be afraid back of you you know it's going to try to communicate you're going to try to communicate this is how you get certain knowledge and i know a lot of people are going to say oh that's evil Ooh, that's demons and da, 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 da. well how do you know that like most of the universe is unseen only five percent is seen Okay, so if we're the 5% that's seen, there's infinite beings out there. There's so many more things that you don't know about. And to label something evil or bad because you don't know what it is or you fear it is very ignorant. Okay, now a lot of these um, beings are friendly and they give you information and um, communicate with you. A lot of them are 
Uh, some say some say they're angels. Some say they're uh, spirit guides. It's just whatever you can't see. Some say that their um, past loved ones sometimes show up. You just never know. So you just have to understand that there's nothing to fear if you know this is not real and that which you cannot see is there. You know what I mean? So, and I'm going to get deeper into some, some of the types of beings that, you know, might uh, appear or that you might have to deal with. Uh, probably on Conspiracy Monday. That's part of, you know, my little surprise. So I will see y'all then. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.